Hello everyone. Today we're in the office to talk about CAD. Um, that's computer-aided design and uh, specifically about my favorite software, SketchUp. If the thumbnail wasn't obvious enough, I'd like to officially announce that the Camp Drawers 3D CAD model is now available for purchase on my website at campdrawers.com. So I'll link that in the description, pick that up if you like. Now, this is not a detailed step-by-step -step build tutorial. I'm still working on that. Uh, but for those of you with woodworking or carpentry experience and are anxious to get started on your own build, I wanted to release something that for you right now to get you going. And if you're like how I was when I built my first Camp Drawers unit, um, I didn't have much CAD experience. Uh, my crappy graph paper sketch wasn't very marketable for this purpose, so I had to teach myself CAD. Uh, first, I tried Fusion 360, and that had a learning curve. Uh, I'm sure it's very powerful for what it is, but for the purpose of woodworking and building camp drawers, it was, it was a lot. Uh, and I found the better solution to be SketchUp. It was, I learned how to use it from various YouTube videos and Google searches, and I was up and running in very little time. It's uh, easy to learn, it's uh, easy to use, it's, it, I love it, it's a, it's a great woodworking tool. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you the basics of navigating SketchUp using the Camp Drawers model specifically, so you can use it to build your own set from uh, scratch and square one from no experience whatsoever with CAD. I'll keep this section short as the process will inevitably change with uh, new versions of SketchUp, but basically you'll need to make a free account with Trimble and choose SketchUp free. The free version is completely web-based and so it will run on any computer in a browser and it doesn't require you to download or install anything. Now, there's also a mobile app that's available for download. And uh, I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, it's missing a key feature of being able to hide components. And we're gonna need that to do what we need to do here. So stick to the desktop web version, you'll be good to go. Now, if you haven't purchased and downloaded the Camp Drawers model yet, um, now will be the time to do so. Or just keep following along and see if this method is even right for you. Okay. Once we're in SketchUp Free, uh, we'll choose Open From Device and open the model. You'll get a warning message about the model being too large and we can go ahead and accept that. Okay, here are your camp drawers. Uh, let's take a look inside, shall we? I've preset a few scenes to make it easier to move around the model and they can be found here in the Scenes tab. Go ahead and click through them all and uh, get a feel for how everything is put together. Now it's time to poke around in here. Moving the model around takes three basic actions. Uh, first is the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then to spin it around, uh, you need to click down on the scroll wheel of your mouse, the middle mouse button, and spin it around. Left, right, up, down. Right round, baby, right round. Okay, and third, finally, uh, while pressing and holding the shift key on your keyboard, click the scroll wheel and drag it around to pan. You'll need to play around with this for a few minutes uh, just to get comfortable with moving around the model because you're gonna be using it a lot. So that's scroll to zoom, middle click to rotate, and shift, middle click to pan. Rotate, shift, middle, pan. And also if you're on a laptop and you don't have a three button mouse, you can still navigate around the model just on the left sidebar. There's the orbit function right there. You click on it again and you got the pan. And then right below that is the zoom, which you just click and then drag it back and forth. Uh, I'd still highly recommend getting a mouse. Uh, it's kind of a pain to navigate, clicking through all these buttons all the time. So get yourself a mouse or you can just get by like that. 
Okay. Time to dig in some more. Uh, we're going to want to tear this apart piece by piece to see how it's all it all fits together. So let's take this filler panel, for example. Uh, we'll just right click on it and click hide. And uh, you can you can shift click multiple components and then hide them all at once. So let's take a look under the hood. Right click on this platform here and hide that. And now we're getting somewhere. So go ahead and keep hiding components. Until you get somewhere you want to be. Only want to look at one or a specific selection of things. Then select those things. Right click. Go to select and invert selection. This will highlight everything else in the model and you can go ahead and right click anything else and hide that. So boom, now you're just looking at the things that you selected, isolated. All right, now it's time to take some measurements. Now you won't need to do this much because included in the model package is a full cut list that has all the measurements for every single panel tailored down to each individual piece of plywood. And it'll even have uh, the specific cuts that you need to make in sequential order. So you can arrive at the final panel dimensions. Now you'll notice on the cut list that some measurements are listed to the 32nd of an inch. And yep, that is the smallest increment on most tape measures. So as, and as, you'll, as you'll see from playing around with the model, it is actually very important to get these, um, to solve these panels as close as possible to these, to these fractions. Um, it'll make things a lot easier in the long run. You can, you can sand things down a little bit, you can resaw, but get as close as you can. And last thing, um, label all the panels as you go. Uh, writing down what panel is what on the end grain of each panel will make it so much easier to figure out what goes where when it comes to assembly. Uh, I have everything labeled in the model and the cut list so you can easily figure out what goes where and what is what. To see the panel labels, open the Entity Info tab on the right sidebar and click the panel you want to know about. And there's the, there's the label. Back to measuring. Select the tape measure tool on the left sidebar, or you can just press T on the keyboard. This tool will snap to any corner, edge, or various key points on the model. What you want to do is go to an edge corner, for example, here. Click once and move it to another corner where you want to measure to and boom you got numbers to do stuff with if you accidentally click the mouse it'll create a guide point which is fine it's not going to really do anything but uh, i would just go ahead and undo that well I know when i what i usually do when i'm done uh, is either press the space bar to go back to to exit the measure mode and go back to the cursor or I just press T again to start a new measurement. Measuring circles and radiuses can be kind of tricky. So let's say, for example, we wanna measure from this corner all the way down to right there. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't snap in place there, but what we can do is if we go over to this point without clicking, just move our mouse over to the left, it'll snap right there. That's a perfect square inch and 13 sixteenths. Same with circles. Uh, finding the center point of the circle, if you just hover in there, doesn't tend to eh, snap that time. But if you can't quite get it, you'll want to go to the end point there, all the way up, and then there's your center. Move it, pan over to the right, to the next circle. And it's not quite clicking on there. It's not quite snapping to it we'll just move to the end there all the way up and there you go nine and three quarter inches 
you can see that the line turned green. If the line turns one of three colors, that means it's, uh, if the line turns any color, it means that it's on uh, parallel to an axis, and that's good. Most of the time, if you're not on an axis, uh, you're measuring to something a little off, which is usually obvious since the measurement just never ends up being an exact fraction. If you're seeing 64 through like the, the squiggly line for uh, approximate, then you're not quite there. So, all right, now we're done with measuring those pieces. Where's the rest of the model? Uh, the simplest way to get back is to just go open up one of the scenes again. And that's pretty much all you need to know to get building. The model package comes with a SketchUp file and it comes with a DWG version uh, for all other CAD programs, if that's more your thing. Uh, full cut list in PDF format, a uh, full materials list, and a build guide with, uh, with some notes, just some notes for some common issues that you might run into. And if you give me your address, I will even toss in a few stickers in the mail. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, and as always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to drop them below. Send me an email at sam at campdrawers.com. I will be working next on a full, tut full build tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions for those of you who might still be a little uncomfortable delving into this big project um, on your own. So stay tuned and subscribe for that, for that notification. And uh, I'll see you out there.